This one is the pork ears. It's full of flavor. We're here in Seattle today. We decided to go for a day trip just to eat some Jollibee. And you know us Filipino, we love our Jollibee. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth the two hours drive. <laughs> yeah, it's worth the two hours drive. We're just planning to like eat along, maybe visit some shops later. Yeah. Some outlet malls. Let's get going. We came in pretty early and we always hit Jollibee as the first stop here. Earlier, the better because there's no lines, right? Yeah, during the day, there's a long line for it. Yeah, especially at lunch hour. There it is! I'm home! Are you home? Yummy! <laughs> Massive lineup already. Oh, not too bad, right? Time check, it's only 10.20 and there's already a massive line. Do you know what you're getting? Chicken spaghetti. Chicken spaghetti? Are you ready for the big review? This is what we always get whenever we go for Jollibee. It's like a three cubes chicken, too spicy for me. One for Maxi, original. And spaghetti. This is the Filipino spaghetti. The one with sugar in it. And hot dogs. And hot dogs. And plus pineapple juice. And a toy. So this is actually a kid's meal. That's why we got the toy. The toy is... Who's this character? Happy Spaghetti. Get the spaghetti. Free! Smoking hot chicken. After roughly about five minutes, everything is gone. <laughs> Where'd all the food go? In my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Look how long the lineup is now. It's starting to go all the way to Seafood City. So it's better to be early. The one thing I really love with this Jollibee location is you have all the choices. You got like Jollibee over there, you got uh, Chow King, you got uh, Crispy Town and Seafood City at the, at the end there. And Red Ribbon. And Red Ribbon, yeah. Bye Jollibee for now. We're so full. I know, I'm so full. <laughs> I don't think I can walk around. Because we're planning to go to Outlet Collection, which is like a half an hour drive from here, right? Yeah, do a bit of shopping. Maybe pick something up for the house, for the condo. And then go back to Jollibee and eat again. <laughs> <laughs> Outlet Collection. So this is a little bit different from what we have in Vancouver, right? So we have MacArthur Glen in Vancouver. Yeah, and and Nils. But this is a different outlet collection. And another thing is we noticed that this is the only outlet store that is indoor. Because the other outlets here in Seattle are all outdoor. Forever 21! Soon enough, you're only gonna see this in the States. Because in Vancouver, it's all closing, right? Yeah, in Canada. In Canada. One of the things I like about this mall is they have like this small play area where you can play table tennis. You wanna play? Live in Busters! It was fun, right? It was a lot of fun! <laughs> it brings you back to your childhood for somehow. Yeah! Even the mobile games like Candy Crush, Temple Run, they have it there. So if you guys aren't aware of what Live In Busters is, it's like an arcade. It's like a, a child casino. Yeah, but instead of winning money, you, you win tickets. We're currently at Burlington and Halloween hasn't even hit yet. But all the Christmas decors are already out. Why is that? It's very Canadian actually. It's Rudolph. It's Rudolph? Yes. Rudolph is Canadian? Huh? For our couch, we need pillows. Yeah. We just bought a carpet too that is the same color, right? Yeah. So that's gonna match. Yeah, so cream and gray for our couch and our carpet. Someone's being indecisive. So hard to choose. I thought you wanted the gray. 
Well, I'm up for it because it's cheaper. This is so, so only $17. It's $17 for two. Yeah, not bad. Okay. You guys know it's Halloween season. If a gigantic Halloween store suddenly pops up, sometimes it blows my mind on how Spirit Halloween works. You know, because they just show up maybe a month before Halloween and just suddenly just goes out. Yeah, it's only one once, once a year. Yeah, one month a year. <laughs> one month like, a year. Like, how? <laughs> So we are gonna go back to Taquila, to South Center, where Jollibee is, to buy some... Potato Corner! Potato Corner! <laughs> and Red Ribbon! Yeah, we're, we're gonna take some Red Ribbon back home. Time to fill up the tank! This gas is so much cheaper in the States than Canada. I feel like I'm the only one wearing a shirt today, outside. <laughs> Definitely shows the, the Canadian vibe. <laughs> We have a thick skin. <laughs> yeah, so we just did a quick stop at Walmart. Whenever we go to Walmart in the US, we always grab this big stack of bottled water because it's really just handy to have it in your car. And it's way cheaper in the US. Yeah, so if you guys ever you wanted to like go out, instead of like buying an actual just a bottle of water, this is way cheaper to get it from the grocery store. We bought some water, cream soda, and Pringles. This Pringles is honey mustard, so we're going to try that. That yeah. sounds good. Even the drinks, they have a variety of drinks. They even have Pepsi vanilla, Pepsi lime, all flavors. And we're back. It's so busy. I know, it's lunch time, it's lunch hour. It must be really busy. Look at Jollibee. Crazy. But good thing, we're done with Jollibee today. Yes, we did it first thing in the morning. Yeah. Oh, barbecue! You can a barbecue. This is the barbecue in Seafood City. Street food! Oh, all the street food you can eat. They got isaw, a pork ears, there's balut. The best thing they have, nilagang mani. L nilagang mani? Mm. We're gonna get some Pinoy street food. I decided to ditch Chow King for some Pinoy street food. This is a mix of fish ball, kick yam, squid ball, all delicacy of the Philippines. This is isao, which is like intestine, some pork ears. This is I think pork lungs or something, I'm not even sure. <laughs> this matches with spicy vinegar. Alongside it is, this is a coconut pandan shake along with a chicken barbecue and a pork barbecue. Fun fact, barbecues in the Philippines are always on a stick, like a skewer. This is, what is this? Fish ball. It's, it's different from the fish ball that we have in the Philippines. Oh really? Can it's I try? very chewy. It's very chewy? Yeah. It still has the same fishbowl taste, but yeah, you're right, it's kind of chewy than what we were used to in the Philippines. This is the fish kick yam. We're gonna be using the same sauce, the fishbowl sauce. Just wanna put it with rice now. <laughs> I want the lobster ball. Try the lobster ball. It has a corn. It's full of flavor. You can taste the lobster in it, the pork. It's very, very chunky. Oh, really? It looks so Let's good. Let's try this. It's like a, a sweet beverage, right? Yeah. Can you taste it? Is very there like. It's creamy and very sweet. Oh. Can you taste the coconut inside? The coconut in the pandan? It's like artificial coconut. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Very artificial. Not real coconut, eh? It's not the buko pandan that I love. <laughs> so this is the 
isao, this we call it isao, which is just a, I think this one is pork in the steam, instead of chicken, because it's so big, right? It's so big, we're yeah. a chicken. <laughs> this might be pork in the steam. For some of you guys, it might taste awkward, but I'm pretty used to this taste because I grew up eating this, eating street food in the Philippines. So it, it brings me back to my childhood. <laughs> You're eating the pork in this thing. How is that one? That's the chicken, right? Or the pork? Pork barbecue. Pork barbecue. Very big. Good and tasty. Mm. What I'm used to is the barbecue always end up with a fatty piece at the end but this one doesn't have it right no fat there's it's no fat it's all meat this one is the pork ears so i know this is going to be all chewy a little tough in there huh can't even bite it that good it's too chewy too hard. So this was labeled as pork bumps. I'm not even sure what uh, part of the thing that is. It looks chewy. Let's try it out. It looks burnt. Let it swim in spicy vinegar to get more flavor in it. It's good. No, it's good. Yeah. You should try it. No. no. You should definitely try it. It's tasty inside. There's like barbecue sauce inside. Last chibog of the day. My favorite potato corner. Chibog means what? Food. What? No. Chibog means eat. A quick eat. Okay. Quick eat. We've been eating since this morning, so it's, I don't think it's considered as a quick eat. <laughs> Gotta bulk up for winter. <laughs> yeah, bulk up for winter. Someone's really happy. Mm. What flavor is this? Barbecue, my favorite. Mm. Get it while it's hot. So, after all the eating, Max and I have decided to visit a popular destination here in Seattle. This is the Fremont Troll. Troll, under the bridge. Yeah, it's the troll under the bridge. It's very famous, so we are curious to find it and see it on our own eyes. On our own eyes. Apparently, it's part of a movie somewhere. Is it? Do you guys know what movie it was? Comment on the section down below so we know. Yeah. <laughs> the troll sculpture is just found under this bridge. Here it the is. street is named Troll Avenue. Oh. Why didn't we look for that? <laughs> Troll Avenue. Yeah, oh, true. <laughs> there it is. Didn't know it was gonna be big like that. There's an actual car under it, is it? Oh yeah, that's true. Look at this. There's a small beetle underneath the troll's hand. Do you want to take a picture? I think there's a long line for the picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty popular, eh? It's pretty famous. Yeah. You can definitely tell that it's been there for a while, right? There's <laughs> graffiti and yeah, stickers there's... already. Kids yeah. are climbing up and down, making it like a playground. I wonder how long that troll has been there. Hi guys, it's currently 5 o'clock and we are here at Home Goods. It's probably the last stop before we head home. So if you guys aren't aware what Home Goods is, Home Goods is the same as Home Sense, just the American version. What is that? You broke something. Huh? We are still missing a few pieces on our condo, right? We don't have side tables yet. We don't have a coffee table. Lamp. Oh yeah. Yeah, candy. bedroom lamp. Ceiling light. Probably a small chandelier for the dining dining room, the yeah. kitchen area. And a small bench <laughs> if you want to put your shoes on. I don't know. All these are good stuff. I don't think we can carry all of that today <laughs> back to Canada. <laughs> We just made it home. Yeah, we're back here at home. We couldn't end the vlog in Seattle because it was all too rushed in the end. We were trying to get into premium outlets, but we ran out of time and we just decided to just head back home. Yeah, but we had a lot of fun in Seattle. That's basically the things that we do or eat in Seattle. <laughs> yeah, in a day trip basis. <laughs> yeah, Seattle was fun, but it's 
nice to be home. Yeah, I agree. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel because we're going to do more fun things like this. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. See you guys in the next vlog. Bye! Bye.